Haven't done this in a hot fucking second. All right, I'll, I'll get straight to the point. I found marijuana in the house. And while I never thought of myself as the type of father who'd have to drug test his kids, I'm willing to do just that if that's what it takes to find out who brought a joint into this house. Dad, Lucy found something too. Dad, I found a joint in Mom's dresser drawer. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Ziffy. It's your boy Caden. Uh, today, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be reacting to uh, my fight that I just had on the first of May. Um, I competed in a uh, Muay Thai tournament um, called the United States Muay Thai Open. Pretty wide around the country. Um, a lot of people compete in it. There was a lot of people that I met from all over the country. That you know, Chicago, wherever. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna we're gonna get into this I'm gonna kind of go over some of the things that I think I could have done better and some of the things that maybe I thought I did good but I could also work on so let's just get right fucking into this so uh <laughs> first of all uh I didn't really cut weight for this fight I, I kind of just went in there at like a natural weight I think my weight class was 132 to 140 so I, I weighed in um at like 135 so I was kind of like in between I didn't really gain too much weight after so a lot of the people that I would have been facing in this weight class were going to be probably more, you know, built beefier than me because a lot of people was were, a lot of people were cutting weight. So um, this kid, I saw him um, when I got my bout, and I saw it on my phone, and I, saw, I was like, damn, that boy got some big legs. But yeah, this is my first amateur fight. This is my first fight um, in the sanctioned event. So you know, the nerves and everything were kind of, you know, oh shit. I'm actually getting dual ring now so um but no i tried to you know stay calm uh yeah let's just play this shit i'm talking too much uh, your fighters ring number one number eight all my shit was red i was expecting to be in the red corner i got put in the blue corner it's kind of messed up but hey this shit happens make do with what you can he was kind of like turned away right now uh like i uh at, when the bell rang he was like turned away like in water and shit i'm like can i run over and like punch this fool but you know i kept it respect I'm not gonna kill nobody. there are my coaches in the background you got rob emerson and you got adam marconet two of the greatest coaches alive here we go he's just so a lot of this was um he's just kicking my leg a lot he got a big, it was a nice overhand. Let me go back. Good overhand to start. So he he came out pretty pretty aggressive. I was um, not expecting that, but yeah. Um, so just kind of walking around. Here we go. Yeah. So touch instantly fires away with the low kick. Yeah. Hit right on top of the shin. Try to check. He goes right over it. Yeah. These are some big leg kicks. This shit hurts. For all you at home watching this, yeah, this shit is pretty fucking pretty bad. But. He checked that one, goes in with that big overhand and then a right body kick. I'm like, okay, just shell up a little bit, let's go back. Inside leg kick, that's a beautiful kick. Right above the knee, that shit hurts so bad. Right here, throw it inside, checked it, did it again, hit him with the double. He hit me with the double, he's done. Nice Superman punch, got win. That stabbing front kick, that shit's beautiful. When you just like you pick it up like you're gonna do a, like a teep a push kick to you know create space and you just flick it right into their stomach it creates a lot of a lot of pain it fucking hurts so bad so yeah he fucking he i, I landed a couple of those he was uh he was like this. so in the rules of muay thai i do believe that counts as a knockdown since my hands did hit the floor which i i don't know how i feel i mean it, it's you know at one point i'm already back on my feet in, in half a second so i don't really know how i feel about that anyways it does happen a couple more times um there's one that he gets that's very clean that um he kind of like has my leg and then chops the other one down um and i fall on my back but these i don't really i don't know how i feel about it i guess i gotta stay on my feet more and uh you know just evade those kind of like trips and shit um but yeah i didn't this is kind of something that uh I don't know. Irked me a little bit. Come on, David. See, so I'm just out of range with that. I need to. I was picking my shots a little too much because, in usually when I 
sparring in the gym and stuff I um, I'm really long I like to play with that that popping uppercut you know just kind of hitting somebody but they're still staying far away so when I hit him with that first uppercut he kind of closed the distance he, might, he like closes in yeah and my counter shot just went right over his head very good defense for that though um, that little uppercut is good though. this kid I thought this kid was gonna hit a lot harder than he did but I mean all the clean shots that he landed which in in his defense was like five or so um they didn't they didn't hurt that much uh, he was the the thing that was hurting the most was the leg um he had some strong kicks but no his head went that bad hit him with that leg there's again that trip i don't know why the that at that point i don't know why the ref checked my glove i kind of just posted on my hand and uh was still on my feet i don't know why he checked my glove but however it's all right that's all good shelled I blocked him. Inside that one. Wow. Hit him with that same little uppercut. I think that's where I hit him with the majority of the fight. So that good inside kick. Established. I can get into range. And then fake. He throws the jab. I throw the uppercut. Ooh, get out of there. He's still reaching for his looping shots. He threw a lot of looping shots, which, you know, all day straight shots are going to be looping shots. So you want to have him more centered down the pipeline instead of, you know, just coming around the side just throwing giant overhands which he was doing just looking for the knockout the whole time and if you look for the knockout the knockout's not gonna come well a uh, short little two that was a great shot didn't really catch on the camera that uppercut and that short little two yet shot pass like trip one two three four that was good I, I pretty much shelled all of those didn't really land too clean um, Slip that, fire the uppercut. Um, he was kind of like showing his hand, and then he, he went in with the jab. It was a little weird, but nothing, none of that really landed. Body kick not landed. A little spin out. Wow. See, so he, I don't, I can't really see what was happening. I think he was just shelled up on the ropes, trying to like evade and threw this out. I slipped. I fired a right uppercut and then I'm coming with the left uppercut. Now he's throwing a big overhand. So right here he kind of like pushes me off and then fires. I slip back, fire that shot, go with a big left. That right there, I kind of, um, I kind of overshot on my feet and so I was kind of out of position. See how right here I'm kind of just like already in the pocket so he can fire back with whatever. He tried to fire the two, I ducked it. Kind of just clenched a little bit, got him, and pushed him on the ropes. Got a good knee. I think this was the knee where I hit him. I hit him straight on the hip. So right on the hip, my knee hit, and uh, it it caused me a little little bit of pain. I was like, damn, that uh that doesn't feel too good. <laughs> wow. See, so he, he he did a pretty good job. I think he won that first round. Um, I'm pretty sure he did on the the scorecard. But you know, it's very close. Um, I think he did more effective. He did the um. Muay Thai sweeps, but um, no, it was still a pretty good round. He landed this little combo. Right. Thing. So good. After this round, though, it's kind of just like whoa. So here we go. We're on the second round. Uh, a little bit same. It's kind of the same as the first round. Um, he does capitalize on some good things. I uh, just the leg kicks. Gotta 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 check the leg kicks, man. And if you don't, then fire back right after. Check that one. He came in. I'm kind of throwing way too much into my punches. Kind of need to let off on that. But that overhand, yeah. See, this is where he started. He's like, oh, that overhand, that's gonna land. So this is uh, this is where I had to kind of, you know, face a little adversity and like figure out how to fucking, you know, get away from this guy's fucking overhand. It wasn't that strong. He wasn't hitting me like to where I was like, oh god, I'm gonna fucking go out. I, I just had to, you know, figure out the right blocks and you know, get away from it. So he just kept throwing it and landing it. So he's like, okay, I got the two. Nice overhand. Another one. Another one there. And then I guess I kind of figured him out after this one. There we go. I, I ducked underneath it. So I, I figured he was just loading up with that same combo just going underneath. So I just went out the back door and I'm like, okay, I got that one on my, I understood that. So I just had to get hit with it a couple times and, you know, figure it out. Yeah, everybody gasped. Nice body kick too. Good trip. 
stayed on my feet, didn't even touch the ground. Ooh, nice jab. Should have tried to probably trip him there. He was out of position. That was a good knee. That I landed on him. Nice uppercut. Tries the overhand again. This is beautiful. Ooh, still trying it. <laughs> My mom's on this shit's hilarious. Well, uh, just that little head movement. Just creating an angle and getting off. I figured he was going to come in more explosive. See how he's building up his pressure? He's like, oh, I'm going to build up a big combo. I'm like, no, no, you're not. I'm going to duck off to the side and exit. Put my guard up. Completely fine. Woo! Beautiful uppercut. Wow. Nice, beautiful two right there. Wow. Just a little two, like a, a short hook to the body and then that overhand. He keeps firing those kicks. A good kick. I need to do that. He's right. I was getting pretty tired. I don't know why he started showboating like that. Probably not in his best, you know, wishes. Wait, you, know, you can do whatever you want. Ah, there you go. He got tagged for it, too. There you go, motherfucker. Look at that quick little... He just never blocked it. He never, he never realized that he was in, you know, getting hit with it. Never tried to block it. A short little uppercut right there. Slip, and then, wow. Right over the top. But yeah, after this, I was getting tired, really tired, really fucking tired. But yeah, after that second round, it's like, okay, I'm back in the corner. I have a minute to think. I have a minute to, you know, clear all my thoughts and just, you know, focus on, you know, what he was doing well, what I was doing well, what I need to capitalize on. Um, my coach in the corner, Rob, uh, who's a UFC veteran, is a great, fantastic coach. You see him right there. Um, telling me, he was telling me more long shots because I, I was still being long, but I wasn't. I wasn't capitalizing on it. I wasn't, you know, making it such a big deal to him. So Rob was telling me, you know, throw that long, just like giant knee into the solar plexus. Um, so I tried to do that a couple times. I think I landed it once or twice. Um, but yeah, the adrenaline uh, definitely dumped. I was um, just kind of feeling little, like the nerves. I'm like, okay, the nerves are kind of going away. I'm all right. Just you know, keep my shot, keep my guard up. Yeah, it, it, it's something else when, uh, when you're in there and you're, you actually are throwing punches. It's a, uh, it's a crazy feeling. So I started off the second round, big two starting off. Cause I knew I had to be more aggressive. So he's kind of leaning back a little bit. I've seen him lean back. I'm going to come over right over. Two, three, you know? I think I like a two, one, two. I'm kind of, putting everything into my shots right here so that's why I'm kind of like lifting off with my feet and shit um, I need to not do that as much kind of focus what power shots need to go where and not just throw everything into every shot so that was a good two but he's crushed like that and that like I hit I was trying to hit so hard like I, I didn't my center of balance went up. slip that two and then that uppercut easy throw my head up Two landed. There he is. All right, another two. Kind of playing jab game. Trying to focus more on combinations. That was a big that overhand. I think that was one of the cleaner shots he landed. That big overhand right there. That kind of like turned my head the other way. I was like, okay, that's nice. That's one of his harder shots. I can take that easily on the chin. Back up. That's what he's just firing the whole time. Nice uppercut. Nice jab. Jab, exchange, pick out it. I, I caught his kick, but uh, he, he was really short, so it, it's fucking hard as shit when you're taller to, you know, keep somebody's foot there and then go and chop, you know, like their fucking other leg down. Um, so I, was, I just fucking threw it away. I'm like, all right, let's fucking bang, motherfucker. Still going with those big overhands. Wow, oh, ah, there it is. Finally getting the distance on that uppercut and that overhand. There we go. Landing perfectly with it now. He just kind of went in for like a lazy low kick. I caught him clean for it. He went with like an overhand. I pushed him off. Went in for that kick again. Uppercut overhand, baby. 
run that shit all day. He never fucking, he, he never, you know, found the, the sequence to, you know, defend it, so I just kept running. Good keep. Starting to get a little tired. Front kick, a little two. Nice jab, that was a good jab by him. Tired, that was that long knee that Rob was trying to tell me to throw that whole time, so. Over committed, just bang that knee straight down the center, that's good. Come on, that's, yeah. It was doing some weird shit this fight, like kind of like waving his hand up and then going for an uppercut with the same hand. I'm like, I'm looking at that hand. Why would you try to use that hand to hit me? Because I'm looking at that one, you stupid. But, you know, I don't know. It, it was all fun. We were doing some good shit. There's that same combo again. That uppercut and that overhand just more clean. There we go. Good uppercut. Yeah, was getting pretty tired at this point. Um, Come on, Katie, get his ass. One, two, and the uppercut is nice. So Come on, Katie, get his ass. Yeah. Had to figure out because he can do I was longer than him. Uh, another one. Go, Katie. Here we go. This is all right. So here, here, here's here's where we're coming to the best sequence of the fight. This is what I believe to be the best sequence of the fight. Um, this is um, I think I land a two. Or I think it's two hooks, two uppercuts, and then a big left right over the top. And he kind of stumbles and wobbles back, and I chase him. Beautiful. Hell yeah, baby. He threw the kick. I caught the kick. And I kind of pushed him into the corner, right? So caught the kick, kind of pushed him. Now he's in the corner, and both of his hands are down because he just reset his feet. Right now, I'm in the process of throwing a three i'm coming with this hand right here gonna throw a four i'm gonna loop back around with the left hand throw an uppercut and then another uppercut with this right hand and then come right over the top with the left hand again that's the shot that didn't that he didn't see coming because he thought i was i was done after that one that four punch combo and then it just comes right over the top two three four and then right over the top literally just a picture fucking perfect i should have you know turned my elbow a little bit more um but it still landed with a lot of force and he, he wobbled and backed up. So I being instinctually just like, oh God, I see him. He's hurt. I need to go fucking fast and, and do this. Um, he, you know, backed up, did very good, shelled up, got me. I just pushed him in, tried to throw a couple knees, but uh, this is, uh, you know, the third round. I'm pretty fucking tired. There's a lot of action. Um, there it is again, just the same little combo. He tries to throw his little overhand. His corner right there was yelling head kick. I'm like, all right, you can throw the head kick. That was, that's illegal too. It, it was just, it was a weird fight. I'm definitely gonna do it again. I'm, de I'm gonna fight with these guys again, probably in December. But um, yeah, it was just, it was a, it was a fun little event. Um, this is kind of stupid though. He did a spinning back fist and landed straight with the elbow on it. And in my bracket that I was fighting in, you couldn't land elbow strike. So the ref warns him. I didn't, that was pretty stupid. All right, that's it. I appreciate all you guys for watching that. Be sure to like, comment, do all that subscribe business. Uh, I'm gonna do some more of these when I get some more fights. So, uh, you know, stick with me and, uh, you know, see you guys later. Ziffy out, deuces. Don't you like it when these diamonds look like respect I'm a little closer, sexy boy, and in the sky Skip a little handy, that's the cause and defect Baby, no money to this money, let me curl it Big bag, price tag, Gucci rag, okay Don't break, cocaine, red flag, no way Big bag, price tag, Gucci rag, okay Don't break, cocaine, red flag, no way